Hey guys, today is November 30th, 2020. So by the time you see this, it will probably be in April and hopefully I will know what school I'm going to and if I got into a school. So just a quick overview, I'm applying to programs in genetic counseling, also human genetics and genetic counseling, depending on the school, it has a different name. All my applications are due in December and some are due in the beginning of January. So I'm applying to 11 overall, but all in all, only about 30% of people who enter the match system get into any school. So by the end of this video, you'll know the answer. <laughs> Just submitted Stanford. So done, so happy. Now I think I'm gonna go work on Emory and UCLA today, and maybe a little bit of Rutgers. Guys, I made a mistake on my BU application, my CV. I said I spent 155 hours a week on YouTube instead of 15. Um, so clearly I spend a lot of time on YouTube and I'm very dedicated. I emailed them and I was like, hey, sorry, made that mistake, but oh, don't do that. Don't do it. I did something crazy. It is December 22nd and on December 16th, I had already submitted all of my applications that were due on the 15th and I realized, hey, you know, I've gotten pretty good at these. They're not that hard. So completely last minute, I decided to apply to two more schools. So Sarah Lawrence and UC Irvine. These are two of the oldest programs, but you know what? The more schools I apply to, the better chance I have. And I just want to get in somewhere. I just want to be a genetic counselor. I just want to be in school. So I never updated you, but all my applications are in. It's January 12th and I'm just not patiently waiting to hear back from some schools. I know that Emory releases their interviews really soon. Like last year, they did it January 2nd or January 4th. And this year, right now it's January 12th, but like they don't always do it that early, but I think they're gonna be the first school to hear back from if I get an interview. Oh, fingers crossed, I want one so badly. So I'm feeling pretty low. I wish I took out my camera during it, um, but and I will for future ones, but I didn't get an interview at Stanford, which sucks. Um, and I'm feeling pretty low about that. Like I understand that it's Stanford and it's really hard to get into Stanford. I'm also feeling kind of like scared now because when they sent the rejection letter, they said that they had over 50% more applicants this year. That just freaks me out because there's so few spots. Some of the schools I'm applying to, there's only four spots, <sighs> but I'm feeling, upset and low because this was the first school and it was one that i like was really hoping you know but it's okay and i'll let you guys know what i hear about the next one okay let's see oh i really hope it's probably just the first batch though so oh <gasps> not the not the vaccine arm oh my god i got an interview Oh my god, fuck yes, I'm just recording it because I'm making a video like of my whole process. I literally just yes. ate a smoothie. I know! I'm oh, grandma, She's grandma so I just got an interview from Sarah Lawrence! Woo! I have no idea what I did with the video that I took um, a few weeks ago, but I ended up getting waitlisted at Emory which is really weird because, you know, you usually just get rejected or accepted, but I mean, it's not weird, I guess this happens, um, but it's like a very short, it's called the short list. Um, I don't know if it's just me or me and a few others, but they kind of gave me the impression that if one person cancels, then I get the interview, which is really good because that means that like, I, well, you know, I might get an interview, but, also annoying because that means I was probably one person away from getting an interview. So I'm not positive because I haven't gotten like a rejection email or a waitlist email, but um, in the group that I'm on, Discord, it seems like everybody's Columbia um, interviews came out and I have not gotten an email, so I'm pretty sure that means I didn't get an interview, which sucks, but it's okay. I really wish I had a bit more good news than I think I'd take this better, um, but I'm not too sad. I know it's Columbia. I know how hard it is um, to get in. And it's like, apparently only like half of people who apply anywhere get an interview from any place. You know what I mean? So let's say everybody applies to eight different schools. 
you still only have a 50% chance of getting even just one interview. So I already am in that 50%. I already got an interview from Sarah Lawrence. So I really want more than one, but at least I have one. Dear Isabel, we would like to inform you you are among our top applicants for the Master of Science program at BU. Yay! We would like to invite you for a virtual oh interview on the following dates. <laughs> I had a dream last night. Did I tell you that you would? I, I have to tell that. I told it to this morning. I said, Jacqueline, I just had a dream that Isabel's going to boarding school in Boston. And I took, I, it scared me because I was like, why is she going to boarding school in Boston? That's why. That's why. That's wild. That's wild. They said they were going to release it today. Um, oh. Go tell Jacqueline. I'm so excited. I'll go call Ben and I'm going to go rank myself on the Discord. Woo! So happy and sign up for a date real fast. Bye. Apparently, Baylor just came out. I don't know if it came out all at once. Right now, I only see two people ranked it. I'm in class. Oops. So I don't know if it, I'm really scared. I feel like maybe it didn't all come out. I'm so scared. Oh my God. Okay, I didn't get an email. But I don't know if it comes out all at once because right now all I see is two people have ranked it. So I don't know. I didn't get an email though, but we'll see. Okay, I'm 100% sure that I've been rejected by Baylor, but I just got an email about my admissions decisions. I thought we could open up the rejection together. Uh, attached, please find information regarding the final decision of your status. Let's see. Dear as well, thank you for your interest in application to the program. After careful consideration, we regret to inform you that we could not offer you an interview for a position in our next class. Very, very sad. Okay. So it doesn't hurt because I already knew what was coming. Okay. And then I don't think you want to live in Texas now. I mean, I didn't want to live in Texas to begin with, but I'd totally do that if that's what I meant. <laughs> Okay, apparently UCLA interviews are out, and I'm going to check. Mommy, I'm so scared. Please. I don't know if they release them all at once. Please. They might not, though. Okay, I didn't get an interview. I, I don't have an email. Oh. Hopefully that means that I don't know what the hell they release it. They might yeah. they might release it over multiple days. Somebody on Discord who applied last year and goes to Sarah Lawrence now just said that last year they rolled out over the course of a night. I'm gonna check again. Guys, oh my God, I really, really wanna see UCLA. Really, really, really. My email was at 168 and it just turned to 169. I'm not, I'm not doing anything to hear, which means that, that I just got an email from somewhere and I'm too scared to see where. Oh my God, I really hope, okay. I'm impressed. <gasps> Fuck yes, I got one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, what? You're moving to California with me? Yes. Oh my God, what a fucking relief. I'm so fucking happy. Oh my God, I'm gonna go tell Neve and rank it. Yay, I just got a Rutgers interview. Um, Rutgers is in New Jersey and I think it's pretty close to the city. I'm just like walking over my light. Um, um, but it seems pretty good. The program seems like really nice. I don't know, they just seem like a very supportive program. So I'm very happy and I'm excited to learn more. Um, at the moment, I'm still waiting to hear back from Baylor. It's possible I was already rejected. I don't know. I mean, I have not gotten anything, but um, I'm still waiting to hear back from UC Irvine. They release it over many weeks. So like last year, they released it over three weeks. And how much they like your application, I don't think has anything to do with when you get the interview. Um, still waiting to hear back from Johns Hopkins, um, Vanderbilt. And other than that, I want to say that's it. Oh, and Wash U, obviously. Um, I like how I forget the school that I literally went to. Okay, I just saw people posting on Discord that Wash U came out. I'm going to check. Here's the thing. I went to Wash U undergrad. They're only accepting four students this year because uh, it's their first year, actually. So I'm expecting not that many interviews, but my fingers are crossed because I would just love any kind of interview. Okay, I didn't get an email. It's probably not a good sign, but it's fine. I'm not feeling that upset. Okay, so I just heard that people started hearing back from UC Irvine. 
I'm gonna check, but I will say that they say, um, I'm pretty sure that UC Irvine releases over multiple days. So that's like not much of a concern, but let's just see. Okay, I didn't get anything. But that's totally okay. Cause right now I only see two people saying that they got something and they think they released over multiple days. So I'll get back to you on that. Okay, so I'm like covering it. They release it in like multiple batches. So I'm not worried if I don't get an email right now. I didn't get an email, but they apparently like released it at 1 a.m. last night. <laughs> okay, whatever. So Johns Hopkins apparently just came out. I, I actually, I don't know what time, but they came out. I just checked the Discord group. I don't know. I'm gonna check. I don't know how I feel. I don't know if I actually want one because I, 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 I don't know. Oh God. Let's see. Okay, I didn't get an email. Um, let me see real quickly if it's rolling or not. It's totally not rolling. Okay, I didn't get one. <laughs> Whatever. Apparently Vanderbilt just sent out both rejections and acceptances. Let's see. I really hope. I mean, it's okay, but I just really hope I maybe get another interview. Vanderbilt. Oh, I didn't get an interview. So right now I'm basically just waiting on UC Irvine and Mount Sinai. So I'm very close to the being done. Um, also, I'm still waiting for a few rejection letters. So from Johns Hopkins and Baylor, I think that's it. Um, so uh, yeah, <laughs> great. So anyway, I never really explained to you how this process ends up going. So these are all the interviews that I got. Now I need an interview. What's gonna happen after the interviews is that all the schools rank everybody that they interviewed, let's say they interviewed 50 students, one through 50. If they didn't like any of them, then they don't have to rank them. I then will rank all the schools I got interviews for. So right now I have four. So after I do all my interviews, I'm gonna rank them one through four. Let's say I put UCLA first, which I have a feeling I might. Then I'll put that first, you know, and then this system matches us. It's so weird. It does favor the applicant kind of, um, but it's, it's, I don't understand it. It's some sort of match system. And basically you get into one school and only one school or no schools. So that's the system. And that's what I'll be going through in mid April. I'll be putting them in, I think April 13th. And then I get the results on April 23rd. So it's February 22nd, Mount Sinai, where are you? I'm so annoyed. Everybody in the Discord is so annoyed that Mount Sinai has not come out yet. Um, there's four other schools that also have not come out yet, but they're the more traditionally um, late releasers. That was the weirdest thing I've ever said. Um, but like Mount Sinai does not normally take this long. And I don't, I just, I wanna know. I wanna know, do I have four interviews? Or do I have five? Or maybe do I have six? Because I don't think UC Irvine's done either. But they traditionally take like three to four weeks to send theirs out, which is so weird. Um, so I'll keep you updated on Mount Sinai. I've been practicing for interviews, and my first interview is on Wednesday. Today's Monday. Um, and that's with Sarah Lawrence. So I actually just did a mock interview today um, with Wash U. I was like searching it up the other day to see if they do mock interviews at the Career Center with alumni and they do and i graduated a year and a half ago and so i just like last minute booked an appointment and did a mock interview and she said i was doing really well um and she gave me great feedback so that's making me feel a lot better um i wasn't really sure where i stood like you know was i good at the interview was i not but she was really reassuring apparently mount sinai just released they said that on the discord I didn't look at my email necessarily, but I kind of like opened it and I don't think I saw anything that said Mount Sinai, but that like, I could be from somebody. I'm just waiting for my sister to walk in the room. Jacqueline! You got it. No, come here. I want to look and I don't want to look without you here. All right, well, can you do it right here? Fine, I'll just do it without you. Okay, I'm gonna check. Can you do it here? Hold on, I'm doing it now, shush. I got an interview. Yes. Woo! Oh my God. That's, oh my gosh. That's so good. Okay, let's see. Oh my goodness. I was not expecting that. This is from Mount Sinai. Charlie Bucket, did you hear that? Did you hear that? I got another interview from Mount Sinai. Oh, he's so proud. He is so proud. 
I'm literally about to have my first interview right now. Like I'm literally waiting for them to let me in. Okay, I'm actually kind of like really nervous right now because it says the host will let you in soon. And I've just been waiting here and it's now 1021. And it was supposed to start at 1015 and only go till 1030. So I'm like, should I text somebody and say, hey, I'm not in the meeting. I'm really nervous. Fuck. Oh my God, biggest relief in my entire freaking life. Someone else just said that they're doing the exact same thing. Oh my God. Okay, I just finished my first one. It went really well. Um, I'm, ha I'm, I'm very happy. I sort of wish I had some better questions at the end. I've been preparing, but I felt like some of the questions I prepared weren't the best to ask this first interviewer. Um, so yeah, well, anyway, I'm about to have another one. This one's with a doctor, not a genetic counselor. Um, and I'm really happy. I feel like it went well. And I feel like she liked me, but also it's so hard to tell sometimes because, you know, I feel like they have to pretend that they like you. All right, I should go sit back down. I'm a little sore from like sitting still. Sometimes I'll like sit still and then I'll get like, I'll start like noticing like, oh no, I'm not sitting up straight and now it's starting to bother my back, but I don't want to like shift up because then it looks like I was slouching or like it looks like I'm like not paying attention. I'll just shut up. Okay, I have to go to the next one. Bye. Oh my god, guys. Oh, I am exhausted. I literally like need to lie down for like at least 20 minutes. And then I'll give you guys the update. This was so much more exhausting than I thought. You have no idea how much pain I'm in in my jaw. I guess I'll just give you the update now. When I was, like, I was smiling so much. And I guess, like, clenching my jaw with that. No, it wasn't really clenching it. It was, like... I don't know, activating it because I was trying to like stay like engaged. I'm in class, but I got an email that says something like official application information from a name I don't know. And I'm too scared to like look at the rest of the subject. Okay, let's see. I'm just like, what if it's like UCI? Oh my God, it's a freaking spam email. I hate this. Oh my God, you suck. Never mind. Okay, it is March 10th and I'm about to have my Mount Sinai interview. I'm so nervous. So I'm just going through some of my you know notes that I think are important, reading through the website one more time because it is a pretty limited website, which is one of the things I found on Mount Sinai. Wish me good luck. Um, I'm gonna go take, see I took some Advil already. I might take a Tylenol too, just because I was in so much pain last time. For Sarah Lawrence, I don't want to mess with it, you know? Um, though I feel kind of guilty because I took two Tylenol and three Advil yesterday when I was in a lot of pain, but it's fine. Two days in a row, sometimes you're in, you know, it's worth it. Today's worth it. Okay, I just had a bit of a interview, kind of like informational session that lasted 50 minutes. I have about four or five minutes until, oh my God, why do I look so weird? Oh my God, I don't think I did my makeup well. I have about four or five minutes until my actual interview but i will say that i really feel like i meshed well with just what they were saying it seems great so i kind of mesh even a little bit better than i thought so um that's a really good sign i'll see how i like the interviews i'm done i'm exhausted oh my goodness it was so good though i loved mount sinai seriously people were so nice i'm definitely thinking about ranking it pretty high right now i really liked it i have my bu interview tomorrow um right now i'm just gonna go through some of the materials that they sent to me make sure they didn't send me any videos that i have to watch and i'm excited and less than an hour and a half i actually have a meeting with the current students as well as some people who are interviewing tomorrow um so i get to just kind of get a little bit of a feel my mom is scooping the litter box in the background which is why you can like hear that <laughs> oh my gosh i'm loving bu they're so nice like they are just you know every single person has something different that they want and I'm realizing how important I think it is to me to be very close with the faculty and to just feel like you know them well and they really want to support you and I'm really getting that vibe here. Plus, it's just supposed to be a fantastic program, so I'm getting really good vibes. Um, I have one more interview left in four minutes um, and that's with the program director. Everybody I've been speaking to is either like an associate director or they're just like a staff member, um, faculty member. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited. I love this. I'm loving it.
Hey everyone, so today is March 16th and in about 45 minutes I have my UCLA interview and just going into UCLA I think I might rank this first but I'll see how the interview goes. I didn't tell you this but it's nine hours long. I don't end until 8.05 p.m. tonight. So yeah, <laughs> it's great. Um, it's by far the longest interview. There's a bunch of breaks though, like 20 minute breaks but it's really not enough time to relax. So um, yeah, <laughs> wish me good luck. So I've so far had three interviews. It's now just after 3 p.m. and I don't finish till eight tonight. So here's the thing, and I, I, I was hoping this wouldn't really be like um, a thing, but it totally is. You know, UCLA is a very new program. They, they only have one class there so far. Nobody has even finished their first year. They obviously have not graduated a class. So I like wasn't really sure if you know, everything was gonna be figured out yet. And it seems to be, it's just that I was just speaking to two doctors who like, it was together, they were together in the interview and they had yet to um, do rotations with the students yet. So it's kind of like, you know, they didn't have too much insight to give me, which is kind of hard because I would love to hear more, but obviously what are you gonna do about it? Like, that's just the way that it is. And they know that's just the way it is. Um, but I just, I feel like I would get a better sense of the program if that wasn't the case. So it makes it a bit hard, um, but everybody's really nice so far. Oh my gosh, I just met with two amazing genetic counselors. Oh, I love them so, so, so much. They just, I, just, I love talking to them. So now I'm having really good vibes. <laughs> while visiting my boyfriend Ben we decided to go visit the medical school campus so we're on it right now we're just gonna kind of walk around um, it looks really pretty so far we drove around it and now we're gonna walk around it it's really small it looks like so I can just kind of get a feel and then in two weeks we're going to LA I know this is crazy last minute we just booked it to go see if I like LA because I know the areas of all the other schools because it's like right by where I live but like yeah so we'll see how I feel I'm gonna see if I can get in I don't know if I can <laughs> But uh, Ben's brother is a student at just regular BU, the undergrad, not the medical school. So maybe it'll work. I finished my Rutgers interview a few hours ago and they were just so nice. I mean, I really, really like them. Um, you know, it can be kind of hard to get a sense of what it's like if you don't get to see the campus really. You don't get to be on it when there's a lot of student action going on. But like, from what I can tell, the staff seems amazing and it seems like the students are really close. So this is, this is a lot more difficult than I thought. I thought that maybe, you know, once the interviews were done that I'd be pretty clear. And I do think that certain aspects of it are clear. Like I know that I want Sarah Lawrence now to be at the bottom. Keep in mind, I loved Sarah Lawrence too. Um, I just think I didn't get a good feel of it. Um, and I think that's because they interview a lot of students just because it's such a big program. So I only got to see two interviewers, you know, I just didn't get the, the best feel for it. So it's hard for me to want to rank it the highest. Um, so I think that's going to be on the bottom. I know that I want UCLA and BU to be higher than Rutgers. That's what I know right now. What I decided to do is kind of like draw it out on my iPad in a really organized way. It actually looks really pretty. Um, and now I'm going to add up the scores that my ranking system gave to them. Let me tell you a little bit about it. So basically there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's 10 categories that I made. I could be missing something really important, but for the most part, I was trying to think, you know, like what what would really draw me to a program? Okay, so just counted up how I rank them. It looks like with the lowest score, Sarah Lawrence with a 22, then it's Rutgers with a 29, then it's Mount Sinai with a 32, a BU with 37, and UCLA with 40. So, I mean, this isn't necessarily how I'm going to rank them. I still don't know. It's it's so hard to know. I don't know. Uh, guys. I would not be shocked if this is the ranking I put. It's funny because that's kind of the way that I thought it might go from the start.
I'm already in love. It's so beautiful. We're on the campus again at UCLA and I feel like it's so gorgeous. I was pretty sure I might want to put UCLA above BU and I think the main part of it is really location because I think for some people it doesn't play a huge role but for me I feel like when it's warm and nice out it really betters the quality of my life and it makes me want to get out and do things as opposed to winter time I just want to like stay in you know because it's really cold so basically I think I'm going to go home and rank UCLA first above BU even though I love both programs it's, it's so difficult but um I think I'm gonna do that yeah <laughs> I'm about to finalize it so just final order UCLA BU um Mount Sinai, Rutgers, Sarah Lawrence. It's match day. Ah! I woke up. Um, it's like 7.15, maybe 7.30 now. Um, I was hoping so badly to sleep till like 9.30, so I only had to wait half an hour. Um, because usually they come out at 10. It's 9.48. Oh, gosh. I just spent like the last hour chatting with Georgina to just kind of like waste time so i can get closer to the time in which i find out so it's 9 48 and hopefully i find out in like maybe 20 ish minutes oh my gosh hey guys it came out oh all right hope i got the email oh, i got the email okay mount sinai Yay! wow okay i know I feel, okay, I'm, I know. I feel like, yeah, I got in. Okay, I, I'm feeling like very overwhelmed. I don't know, like, I don't, I'm just like, it hasn't hit me yet. I told you I had a feeling it was gonna be Mount Sinai. Wow, that's crazy. Oh my God, full tuition. Oh no, that means I pay full tuition. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> LOL. Oh my gosh, okay. Woo, okay, I'm going to Mount Sinai. That's so great. It is. Yeah. Just take it in for a second. That's I know. really amazing. It is, it is. Fun. Mount Sinai. Mount Sinai. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks, Daddy. That's amazing. Yeah. I know. That's crazy. That's really good, honey. It is. It is. It's. It really is. I know. But it's. Mount Sinai I know. But it's Sinai I'm so. I'm. <laughs> I know. I told you. I just had this feeling it was going to be Mount Sinai from for like a while. Listen, you wanted to go to medical school. Originally, I know. It's kind of like, cool that you get both. Kind of thing, yeah, you're totally right. It does have like you take classes with med students. Like it's going to be great. Like I'm so happy. I think what I'm going to do right now is a search online for Mount Sinai Medical School merch, like merchandise, t-shirts and stuff, and start ordering. You know, uh, that's what I have to do right now. I'm so excited. I'm not even done texting people. I need to put this video up. Um, I don't know, I think I might just end this video here. It's April 23rd. I got into genetic counseling school. I hope that joining me on this journey was informative and fun. Maybe you're going to genetic counseling school or you're interested. Maybe you have EDS and you follow me or maybe you just randomly found this video and clicked on it. Thank you for watching it all the way through. It has really been quite the process and I, Look forward to like so much filming my experience as a genetic counselor and as a genetic counseling student. This is really just so amazing. And hopefully you'll join me on this journey in grad school because I'm so excited to film about it. So thanks again and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.